Okay, take two. <laughs> We're back out here, different shirt. <laughs> uh, yesterday, got out there, got those mullet, lost four mullet right off the bat, and then I was gonna get up and move and come back and check some spots. The motor died. I don't know, the gods of engines were like, ah, Steve is all happy, everything he has is running good. Let's screw him over. So lost, pull the thing, no compression at all, just nothing. Pull it with two fingers, just no resistance in the pull starter. But I, I've been having that problem a couple times already. And I'm pretty sure I know what it is. It's the uh, the valves are all gummed up. So they it's running fine and then all of a sudden the valve will stick open and then it'll kill the motor and then it's stuck open so it has no compression. Because uh, one time it did it, it was like two days it was just no compression. Finally, I was going out there getting ready to tear it apart and then boom, it worked fine and ran fine for a week or two and then it happened again and then it was overnight because what happens is that valve is stuck but then over time, those springs always have tension on it and then it forces it to close and then it works again. And then yesterday's, as soon as I, I pedaled all the way back and just called a day uh, and then got home and as soon as I got home, boom fired right up so today I, I ran a bunch of chem tool gas additive to it then I'm gonna fog it with some sea foam and then I think I'll be okay just get all that carbon and uh, gunk build up off of there because it's been sitting for I, I imagine a long time but uh, we're back out here again for part two and uh, I'm also revising my strategy I think the better bet during the sunlight hours is to uh, pinfish under a bobber in the basin saw a few tarpon uh, as I was coming back yesterday and then right at sunset hopefully I'm able to uh, find some mullet and then catch the end of the outgoing at the magic hour with some mullet and see if the uh, bathtub explosions of them busting on those mullet is really happening so part two all right the first thing we got to do is load up on some pinfish so I've got my $600 pinfish bait getting set up Esky 10 pound rod, Cabo 40. And we got our pinfish. We got our dehooker 5000. That's only $5 or $4 or whatever it is. And I'm just gonna get uh, maybe six or eight and then we'll be able to start fishing. All right, we're all rigged up. Got the noodle rod, nine and a half foot, medium weight uh, trolling rod. Uh, I've got a bobber, about uh, five to six foot of uh, leader, 60 pound, and then to a uh, circle hook. So I'm gonna head on out there, put that out, and then we're just gonna pedal and just slow drift around along the edges of the, the sand and the uh, grass flats. See if there's any tarpon lurking around. Now hooking, I just go right in front of the uh, fins there. Just take a scratch of uh, scales off. And then just run it through there. And that'll allow him to swim around right underneath that bobber there. And then we'll just gauge it by the, the depth that we've got. And let's see what we can catch. Okay, I just saw one roll over there. So I'm gonna cruise on up to it. I'm gonna chunk this uh, pinfish right where he was at. That splash will actually help to attract them. That's kind of right where they were at. Oh, something grabbed it. Look at that big old swirl there. It just missed it. Eek. Go. Oh, it is going everywhere. Of these lines all jacked up here. 
Don't be too twisted up. All right. Oh. All right. That was a bit of a wild start there, but we got some good jumps out of them. I was too busy like screwing around doing other stuff, but I think we got a decent hook set. Just make sure I go back and get my bobber. This one hit while I was trying to set the other rig up. Oh, the slack line. See if we can get some jumps out of them now that we're prepared. I saw these guys rolling around in this spot here, so that's why I kind of hung around. <sighs> nice. That's what we want. Good footage. There he comes. Oh. Happy days, happy days. Tarpon time. Uh oh. Don't jump right here. Don't jump right here. This is the good thing about the old uh, $20 noodle rod. It gives me so much flexibility, even beyond the uh, being able to cast a mile. It takes all that advantage away from those tarpon from when they jump, because it's so noodly. Just gonna let us go on a little sleigh ride. Maybe try to get another jump out of them. I got a pee. Oh, it's always good putting that rod butt right in your bladder. Right now I've got pretty much zero drag on it. I'm just holding drag by using my thumb. That way if it comes up and jumps, I just take my thumb off and it's got as much slack as it wants. And I could put as much torque as I want to tire them out. You're tired. You're tired. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get way low until he clears the kayak in whichever direction. He's gonna jump here. Let's keep the rod tip down until I can spin it around. Uh, get him on this side to be good. Uh, there we go. There we go. No rush. Uh oh. Going in circles. I just want to go it goes one way then I pull against the other way then I could get some leverage on them and get them tired because this is uh, oh. uh. 
this is the part where having a regular heavy duty rod with not so much flex comes into play or you can really put the guggs on them come on thought i thought i had them broken but apparently not let's get you back up 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 there we go keep his head up keep your head up keep the head up I know I've got him when I can start pulling him backwards then he's tired not at this moment though we're about at the neutral zone he can't go down I can't get him up every time he kicks he gets tired and I get tired now I'm pulling him back so I'm starting to win yep oh don't get under the kayak now I could pull him back and he's pretty much done that is the end of the fight Do this before it gets a second win. Alright, come here, baby. Whoa! That's new. Burping. Watch that hook. Look how chafed it is. It's wrapped around the skills there. Oh look at that, it just pops right out. Now we gotta take him for a walk. Uh. Nope, nope. There you go. This will be better for you. Jeff, the designer, wants some close-up images. The scales. Ugh. The face. Hope that works, Jeff. I think he's about ready. Alright, get out of there. Oh, we got something on here. There we go. Ah, oh, dang shark. Don't tie up my other line. Dang it. Stay away from my other line. Stay away from my other line. Jump shark, jump. I only catch fish that jump. On the leader. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh. That was bad. Uh oh. Uh oh. Done. Grab him by the lip. Lip grab him. I see you looking at me.
Just relax. Oh, dang it. Oh, come on. What the heck? Relax. Relax, relax. Whoa, 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 no. Stay out of the kayak. Enough. Enough. Just stop it. Didn't have to be rude. Just be nice next time. Yeah, that's still good. All right. I caught one on a pinfish. I think I'm gonna try to get one on a mullet. Uh, seen a big school busting over here, so I got the five foot net ready. Just need about uh, four again would work. So I still got a couple pinfish, so let's see what we can throw on them. Uh, I got a one or so. That one, one, that's not great. Get him in the can real quick. Oh, 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 oh. Stop, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dang it. All right, there we go. One and done. And then some. One and done and then some. Oh. Something's got it. Uh oh, it's not happy. It's not jumping though. Feeling kind of sharkish. Maybe, maybe not. Jump for me, baby. It's taking off. Head shaker pretty big whatever it is Ugh. oh oh turn around never can tell didn't cut my line yet Just not jumping. Head shaking. This is on the big live mullet. I'm not happy. Head shake, head shake. Oh, turned him. And it cut it. Yeah, that was a shark. Dang it. Just had it in a spot and then all I did is just turn a little bit and hit a tooth. Dang it. Yeah. Chopped me right off. Clean cut. No friction or anything. Bang it! All right, I'm calling it. The wind started picking up and that seemed to kill the bite. I haven't seen anything rolling or jumping or anything. Uh, I didn't want to go all the way out there. I already got my tarpon for the day. One and done is good with me. 
and we've got a beautiful sunset so uh, I'm gonna pack it in and call it a day so uh, anyways thanks for watching and I'll see you next video bye